here we have another fantastic design by Sunshine. It's a print in place mechanical phone holder with the elevated ramp, if I may say. And uh, if you have tuned your tolerances right, this should be really easy to print. This is the orientation you want to print this in. It just came out the hotbed. And I just had to kind of push on these levers a little much to kind of break or free these gears a little bit. I was very careful with, uh, you know, applying enough force so that I don't really break it because I just printed this with two walls. So because this was my first print, I just wanted to see how it comes out. Next time I might actually print with three walls to make it a little more sturdier, but it is still a little delicate, so just don't put excessive force. Uh, see, watch what you're doing. It's a, it's a really, really cool design. I'm just gonna show you how it works. Goes back and forth. I would probably just keep it here because I don't think it's gonna, gonna be able to handle the weight of the phone if it's in line all the way back. And what you do is, you just open up these clamps, right? And it just locks in place like that. You drop your phone in place and just push it down and it just clamps the phone, right? And then the elevated part is where the fun is. I'm probably gonna suggest elevating it before you mount the phone so that you don't you're not kind of moving it with so much weight on it but it's really really cool it's stable it's not moving around or anything all the way up until this point let me just readjust this here so you can see it's really really neat design it's very mechanical and it works it's print in place believe it or not it is freaking awesome. And that's what I was saying. If you just move it back, then it might tip over backwards because my phone is standing tall in the portrait orientation, not landscape. It's a pretty big phone, so it might not fit uh, in landscape mode for this scale, but it's still really, really cool. And it works really, really well. I'm just gonna lower it down a little bit super quick. And then when you wanna remove it, you just take your phone off, it slides right out and it closes automatically. It's just an amazing, amazing design. It's just, sunshine never disappoints. Uh, but here are the key things. Uh, he includes the, this test piece with the STL. I'm gonna link the STL here and you want to print these test pieces and make sure that you have the right tolerances to print this model because it's not if your printer is not tuned well the e-steps and the flow rate and the tolerances are not nice and tight then you're gonna have a really hard time printing it and i'll show you some examples this print this i did uh using inland pla plus 0.2 liter height 100% feed rate and flow rate, which always differs from machine to machine. I had a little bit of uh, a struggle challenge kind of breaking these free, but these do did come free. So this what I would call a success. But then just for kicks, I printed one with 0.2 layer height and 133 flow rate. And this thing is just welded solid. There's no way this is, this is gonna move so just to give you an idea just those little changes can make a big difference and then I tried 0.16 at 98 flow rate and that came off really really loose okay and then I did another one uh, 0.16 at 100 feet rate that one also came out came a little too loose there but that's fine that's it's just a test piece the whole point is to see if the gears can move and free and you know print freely instead of getting welded together because that's just going to be a waste of 17 hours 
So that's when I printed this with 100% uh, flow rate on my Kaibu Tycoon, which is an awesome machine at 0.16 layer height. You don't want to print this at 0.2 uh, and anything more than 0.2 layer height. And Sunshine says that mentions that in his video as well. So I'm going to link all of this information in the description below and watch his video as well. He's, he's a very funny guy and he always tries to educate you on his designs and he always comes up with this fantastic stuff so uh here it is sunshine print in place mechanical foam stand elevated it's fantastic it works and it's uh beautiful i would highly recommend you print this well because that's why we got 3d printers to print such fun cool things which you really can't buy from the store so yeah this is fantastic i love it happy 3d printing